One of the things that I'd like to discuss is this, this notion of social entrepreneurship and mentoring, so to clump them together. I know everybody up here is a, is a mentor to, to many, and ha, ha, each person has been mentored by some good people. Perhaps um, if, if you can, Ted, maybe you can give us just a, a little bit about your thoughts on how important it is to, to receive mentoring and then pay it forward at some point. You know what, I'll give you an example. I'll actually go back on that story I told <coughs> the last time I went to that, that conference when I first went down there. And as I said, I was hanging down in Jamaica with $10 in my pocket. I didn't know that he was going to jump into this, but it's a good way to pick it back up. Um, there were a number of members of the, the organization's board who realized I was struggling, who looked out for me the whole time I was down there. And so I always felt that if I could return the favor, you know, one day if I was ever successful, I, I would do the same thing. I actually ended up going to, we, we, what happened was we ended up going out to a restaurant one night. I didn't know this was going to happen. We were, uh, a bunch of people were standing in the lobby, a whole bunch of lawyers and law students standing in the lobby of the hotel, and uh, they were getting on a shuttle. So I jumped on the shuttle thinking we were going to a party. Uh, we ended up at this five-star restaurant. Now remember, I told you I had $10 in my pocket. <laughs> so I'm looking at the menu, and um, unfortunately there was nothing on the menu that cost $10. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to figure, okay, how am I gonna, you know, <laughs> you know how, how am I gonna cover up, oh, this is gonna be probably the, one of the most embarrassing moments of my career, and here I came down here, I took this shot to come down and meet all these entertainment lawyers, uh, but if I'm gonna get embarrassed and my credit card's not gonna work, then I'm not gonna order a cup of soup, so I ordered the lobster. Um, then I ordered an appetizer, I had after dinner drinks, I had dessert, I figured, you know, it, it's gonna be bad anyway, so I might as well <laughs> take advantage of it. Maybe I'll just come back the rest of the week and wash dishes. Um, at the end of the night, a guy stood up at the table and he talked about uh, the importance of looking out for people coming up behind you. And he said, because of that, everybody's dinner at the table's uh, on me tonight. And so as I mentioned, you know, I always thought if I could ever return this favor, I would. Well. Ten years later, my business really had taken off, and a lot of it had taken off as a result of that organization and a few others that I started, ended up speaking at after speaking at, at, at Beesla. And so each year I would take a number of students. I would take the law students, the scholarship recipients, and the, um, uh, the volunteers out to dinner. And I would talk to them about some of the things I dealt with and you know, how I overcame obstacles and, and how I made it. Well, here's the funny thing. It was a, a talent agent who I had been trying to meet for years. And I was calling people and a number of folks I knew, I, I just couldn't seem to get to this guy. And one day I'm in LA and this guy comes running up to me and he, and he goes, oh my God, Ted Reed, how are you? He introduces himself. It turns out he was the talent agent that I had been trying to meet. And when, when uh, you know, I was, I was curious how he knew me and he said, I was one of the first law students you took out to dinner. So that's the important of when you, when you actually give something back, you never know how it's going to come back to you. Yeah, exactly.